this is your little corner of the world, I see. <laughs> okay, okay, huntsman. It's a bit larger than a corner. <laughs> I have to say, Hunter, I'm quite surprised by your openness with me. Why do I say that? <laughs> I mean, hello, enlisting my help to find your late sister's burial plot, trusting me to help you find her signet ring, and now allowing me to be a guest in your sacred space, your home? Yeah. <laughs> Why do I get the impression that you may actually trust me? Oh, you do? Well, you were quick to say so. And I am grateful for that level of trust you have in someone like me. Hmm. What's on my mind? Uh, well, I'm just confused, Hunter. You treat me as if you don't have anyone else in the world to talk to. What about your coven of hunters? Do you have any friends among them? Hmm. I'll detect your silence as a no. Humor me, Hunter. If you don't have any close bonds with them, why do you stick around? It's personal, you say? <laughs> huh. Not as personal as inviting me to dig up your late sister in that abandoned cemetery personal? Ha! Huh. I got you there, didn't I? Listen to me. You don't owe me any explanations, okay? I'm just thinking out loud to you. You don't have to say anything you aren't comfortable to say. What? They're all you have. Hmm. You didn't lose only your sister, did you? Oh no. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Hunter. I didn't realize you're an orphan. Your late sister Emily was all that you had before she passed away. She was killed. Do I dare say it was a vampire? No. A lichen. A feral lichen. And the hunters managed to save you, but not your sister. Oh, oh my, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Your sister deserved better. You deserve better. You're welcome, hunter. But I do have a question for you, and I hope I don't impose too much. Okay? So my question to you is, why did you need to retrieve your late sister's ring from the graveyard? You were afraid? Of what? Hmm. So the signet ring you and your late sister have was from your late parents. The rings were meant to be a seal of protection from evils or dangerous supernaturals? But I do not understand. How come your sister, how come your sister isn't alive anymore since she had the ring? Oh, no. She didn't believe in the ring and stopped wearing it the night she was killed by that feral lichen. Oh, no. That's a lot, Hunter. So, you wanted to retrieve the ring since someone else can take it and augment it to do the opposite of its purpose? Such as? Summon supernaturals near and far to hunt the living? Oh, wow. That's... That's one scary power. Are you sure it's a family heirloom and not an ancient artifact? You're not sure. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Hunter. At least you achieved it when you did. Someone else could have definitely seen the value in the ring and see how much damage they can do to the world with it. <sighs> well, I hope you know that not all supernaturals are monsters, you know. Oh, you do know? <laughs> I see, I see. Well, you did take a chance on me, and I'm a vampire for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, Hunter, we're an odd pair. A vampire and a vampire hunter sitting together in an apartment. <laughs> hmm? What's my story? Well, to blow your mind, 
I wasn't always a vampire, you see. What's that look of shock? <laughs> well, ta-da! I wasn't always a vamp. Thank you very much. I was a human, just like you once upon a time. How did it happen? Are you absolutely sure you want to know? It's not a beautiful story. <sighs> okay, you asked for it. I was a regular human, worked a regular job, and lived an average Joe type of life. I struggled with making friends, but then he walked into my life. Well, the vampire who bit me was my ex-lover. Yeah. He was... He was beautiful. Tender. Kind. But he... But he wasn't any of those things. Not really. He was very selfish in his reason for turning me. The night of my transformation was actually supposed to be a romantic date night. I thought it was the night that he was going to propose to me. We were together for quite some time and I was excited for our future together. I thought he... I thought he cared about me. But that was my fault. I idolized him too much for too long and I paid the ultimate price. He said to me that he was gonna love me forever. <laughs> So much for that. He told me he had a surprise for me, and he wanted me to close my eyes. And my heart began to race. I thought, yes, this is the moment he's going to propose to me. But then I felt his teeth sink into my neck, and I passed out. When I woke up, I thought it was all a bad dream. I wanted it to be a bad dream. I thought, no. He's not a monster. He's not a vampire. He didn't bite me. He didn't attack me. We were just... I... I... It couldn't have been real. But then, I saw him standing over me. His eyes were red as blood. His fangs were still out. And he smiled. He smiled and he said, You're mine now. I yelled and screamed at him. How could you do this to me? What are you? And he simply laughed. He didn't care about my life or my existence. All he wanted was a pet for his leash. But he made one big mistake. I wasn't as weak as he thought. Turns out, he was going to propose to me that night. But it didn't matter anymore. I knew the stories of vampires since I was a small boy and the myths of what could happen if you're bitten. I looked in the mirror and I had newly formed fangs, and my eye color had a blend of red with brown. I knew what he had done. And I couldn't change that. But I knew one thing. If he took my life away, I was going to take his. So I walked up to him in slow strides. I gave him a look of ecstasy. Probably the longest stare I ever gave him as a newly formed vampire. Gave him the kiss. He yearned on my lips, and as he began to kiss me back, I ripped his heart out of his chest. He turned into dust, and I picked up that small ring box he had for me, opened it up, and saw the ring. And it was beautiful. I still wear the ring to this day as a reminder to never be that stupid for a man again. You see, Hunter? I loved. I loved hard. And it was not enough. So we met at that nightclub. I stay on the defense. Because never again would I ever let a man take advantage of me. So, that's my story. Huh? Oh, thank you for apologizing to me, Hunter. But you didn't know my story. You thought I was another blood-sucking demon. Another case from your hunter circle. So you tell me, hunter, who are the real monsters? Not me. Not I.
I thank you for your candidness. And thank you for listening to my tale. <sighs> it's getting late. And I should leave. Hmm? You want me to stay over? Listen, Hunter. I get we have this thing between us. But I don't think it could ever last. What? You believe it could last. Care to humor me once more? Because you want to take a chance on me? Just like I took a chance on you. <laughs> well, I suppose I like your company too. So, I'll stay. Oh, and Hunter? Thank you. Thank you for respecting my boundaries.